How's it going everybody? I am back in Fallout 4 and this time I'm going to be building rooftop access to a lot of the roofs around Hangman's Alley and then also a little bit of housing on top of this awning. So the first thing that I did was I used Place Anywhere to place down a couple floors along this awning because originally I wasn't really intending on building any housing over here. I would originally just wanted to have a uh, walkway that led up to the rooftop up here and I was gonna have like one house at the top and I end up changing my mind after I built a little bit up here that I just wanted to have the housing be on the awning and then use the rest of the space uh, as like a, a form of uh, walkway to get up to the actual roofing of the area and so I end up placing down one of these shack walls and roofs and you'll notice that in the next cut that I've moved both of the uh, what are the supports for the awning to the far left and the far right side of the awning and it actually ends up working I just placed them uh, on the far sides so that it still looks like it has the same supports they're just not in the middle of the awning so I can actually build there and then I use uh, I used a little piece of plywood to fill in the small gap between the two shack bridges and then now I need to build a stairway up there because I was using just a regular like stair case and it didn't look really that great so I just went ahead and I grabbed a piece of plywood I moved it over to the side and then I decided that I wanted to use a longer staircase to actually get up there see how far this would actually get me up there and I realized it would get me most of the way so I ended up having to move the staircase a little bit closer and up a little bit and then I went ahead and picked up that plywood and I moved it to face the other angle so it's facing long ways now and then I place it which I do have to end up moving the staircase again to actually get it over to actually touch the plywood piece that I just placed, placed down and then to actually like let people get up there I just end up using a shack bridge uh, probably could have done something a little bit more interesting but uh, this was just fine for me it, I just uh, you can't really clip down very far so I was originally had some ideas using staircases and stuff like that like these big stairs and this is what I was referring to before whenever I said that even with the stairs with the place anywhere you can't clip it too far underground so as you can see right there that's exactly what it did uh, and it still had problems with this staircase so I just used place anywhere and you could see right there I had flashed red when I went down a little bit lower but it ended up working out and then I ended up placing down a balcony railing on the side of this shack bridge so that way it's a little bit safer at least and doesn't look quite as open and then on the other side I still wanted to have access to the very top uh, roofs of Hangman's Alley so I ended up placing down a staircase on the side of the housing that I had built or the house up here that I had built uh, that was kind of the angled shack roof and then using the pallets in the wood section the pallets planks to plywood on, in USL I ended up placing down a couple of pallets that would uh, allow me to like get up to the staircase and uh, I don't know I don't think that the settlers will actually use this uh, like little staircase that I built or I mean almost any of the staircases I built in this settlement honestly I doubt that they actually will use any of them uh, the, they just have a huge issue with pathing in this game but hopefully they will just like spawn in up above uh, on the rooftops and stuff in their positions that I uh, put them and stuff and then to get the rest of the way up there 
I just went ahead and I placed down a staircase and it ends up being like a little bit tall but that's not like a huge issue or anything like that I just grab a shack bridge uh, the one without the supports at first and I use place anywhere once I get that actually placed and I try to line it up and you can see that it doesn't really look like it's floating or anything so that worked out and then I end up using the longer shack bridge so I think that this is actually the one that's on the back of sanctuary between the vault and sanctuary so I think that that's where this comes from but it's in the mod USO uh, I don't use it very often I used it at um, what Croup Manor I think uh, in the back and then I, I just rarely use this actual shack bridge but I just use it right here to actually give ourselves a longer path across and then to kind of make it look a little bit more supported I use these uh, like supports from USO in the miscellaneous section and I just place them uh, along the building and I try to line them up as evenly as I can with the both of the shack bridges there and you can see right there it, it looks pretty good I think I think that it uh, it's probably sketchy to walk across uh, it probably would be in real life but I've definitely seen a lot sketchier builds in this game or people have like floating settlements and stuff like that so uh, I don't think that this is like super far-fetched uh, I tried at least to make it somewhat supported and then same thing as on the other side uh, I ended up trying to make it reach out long enough to somewhat touch the the shack bridge and then I placed another support so I did two on each side and then uh, after I ended up doing this I essentially I'm just gonna connect the shack bridge that I'm building all the way along these uh, windows that are hanging out to the front of the settlement so that it'll look like it's connected from this side of the settlement all the way to the back and right here I'm having some issues I thought that I lost that right there I was like oh god I just placed that and thank god place anywhere I actually picked it up and then right here I wanted to have it facing that way I end up turning it so that it is facing the actual shack bridge because that's the only way that I thought that it looked like the least uh, like texture like issues and stuff like with clipping and everything like that uh, you can see it a little bit clipping through the bigger shack bridge but it doesn't look too bad and then using plywood and then I think I grab another shack bridge here in a second uh, I place down a piece of plywood then I'm moving it to the other side use a place anywhere so first I was gonna place it on this side then I was like you know what no I'm gonna put a shack bridge because that'll be a little bit sturdier along like this gap between the two most supported sections of the bridge and thankfully it actually let me place that right there but I just placed that right there and I do end up adding supports and stuff underneath all the way across with the the shack floor supports uh, it's just like three and I just place it kinda into the side of the building so it kinda looks like they tried I've seen this in the game I've seen them actually use these supports in the game and then on the last section of the bridge that I'm building I ended up placing down just some plywood on top of another piece so that it'll be easier to build with so I don't have to like place each piece individually I just placed all of the pieces of shack or of plywood down at first and then I just use place anywhere on that centerpiece it picks it up just like the rug glitch and then I go ahead and I place it on this end of the bridge and then the only few couple things that I do after this is I add some stairs that lead to that roof over there which is where I'm gonna start building I'm gonna start building on this side of the settlement up in the roof and then because uh, there's a lot of build area so right there I was trying to see if I could actually place this uh, stair any uh, anywhere on the roofs but 
yeah, there's going to be a lot of place anywhere up on this rooftop. It's going to be a lot of work because I have to do each piece individually and stuff. So that's going to be awful until I uh, place down like the floors and stuff. And then place anywhere is going to be difficult if I try to do it up there. Uh, but this is the finished tour. And so as you can see, nothing real crazy. I do like the way that the staircase came out uh, going up there. Uh, after this video was over, I ended up moving the apartment sign back a little bit. I added a little Minuteman flag on there as well. And you can see right there on the left, that's where I added the supports from the awning, the ones that were orig originally on there. And yeah, I think that this turned out really cool. It doesn't look too far-fetched. Uh, the shack bridge would be a lot of weight for those supports, but we got some sturdy supports, I guess. But I have a little farm up here for whoever's living in this house, so they have some work to do. And then some posters and stuff to kind of break up the textures of the brick wall. Uh, just try to make it a little bit more interesting. A lot of the houses I've built have, so far have had pretty minimal decorations, nothing like too insane. And then uh, you go up here, you can see it's pretty smooth. Uh, that apartment sign, though, is kind of overhanging the staircase so I do end up moving it back later but I do I do have some ideas for that little back corner behind the apartment sign uh, I think I'm gonna do like a bar or something up there uh, and then I know over here I do plan on doing like a guard post or something that can look out across the road but let me know what you guys think of this build. Let me know uh, what you guys would like to see me build up on these rooftops. I'll probably do some guard posts. Probably do a couple of markets and like a bar or something like that. I want to have some markets down out front in the settlement. It'll have to be guarded heavily, but uh, like for travelers and stuff that don't actually get back here into the like settlement, I'd like for them to be able to trade like traveling uh traders and stuff but let me know what you guys think of this build let me know what you guys would like to see me do on these rooftops and in this settlement and yeah thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one